The Vatican is the smallest independent state in the world with an area of 0.44 square kilometers and a population of about 453 people, which is also the least populated country in the world. This country is located in Rome, in the Italian region of Lazio, in terms of the Vatican's geographic location. It is located on the west bank of the Tiber River, which passes through Rome and flows into the Mediterranean Sea and borders Italy in all directions. Most of the Vatican area is built on a hill called the Vatican Hill, which is surrounded by a 3.2 km long wall, and the size of this independent country is so small that you can walk across its border in only 40 minutes. The question has arisen for you. What is the reason why the Vatican was created in Italy, and what are the geographical problems and challenges of this small country? Therefore, to answer these questions, you must first go back to the past and look for the history of this country. And at the end of the video, I will also examine the geographical challenges of this country. So stay with me. The Vatican was originally a small part of the Roman Empire, founded in 753 BC. During the Empire's heyday, Rome was a powerful and influential city-state that controlled most of Europe and parts of North Africa. So, with as the power of Rome increased, its influence on other regions of the world also increased. In 313 AD, Christianity was liberated in the Roman Empire, and this was largely due to the force of two Roman rulers, Emperor Constantine and his co-emperor Licinius. Constantine and Licinius was a rival for power, but in this year they issued a joint decree of toleration for Christianity and granted this religion a legal status and protection from persecution, which was known as the Edict of Milan. The Edict of Milan allowed Christians to practice their religion freely without fear of persecution, which was the greatest step forward for Christianity as it had been outlined by previous Roman emperors. The Edict of Milan also gave Christians the right to build the churches, granted property and even service in the Roman army, which made Christianity more accessible and attractive to many people. So in 326 AD, Emperor Constantine decided to make Rome the capital of the Roman Empire. He built a basilica on the side of St. Peter's tomb which became the center of the Catholic Church, thus declaring Christianity as the official religion of the Roman Empire. In 756 AD, the Lombards had besieged Rome and were about to make Rome their capital. Then Pope Stephen II, with a request to Pepin, Charlemagne and Carloman, made them return to Italy to subdue the Lombards and the territory. Stephen II was restored to him, thus establishing the Papal Estates. Under Stephen, as well as guaranteeing Papal independence from the imperial regime in Constantinople, those making people a Stephen II an independent prince and making Rome the seat of Christianity and established it as an independent country in Italy. This decision was taken in order to protect the church from foreign interference and ensure its independence from other political powers. Over time, the size and influence of this small state increased until it was known as the Papal State for Vatican. The Vatican has been an independent state since 1929 when it was founded by Pope Pius XI as part of a treaty with Italy known as the Late Roman Pact, and throughout its history has been a symbol of religious authority for Catholics around the world. It is an important tourist destination for people from all over the world who come to visit its churches, museums, and other attractions. The Vatican is also home to some of Italy's most famous works of art, such as Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel sailing and Raffaele's frescoes in St. Peter's Basilica. The Vatican's position within Italy is largely due to its long history with Rome and its statues as an independent state in Italy since AD 256. Its location gives it a unique place in Italian culture, as well as its protects against foreign interference or political unrest that may occur in other parts of Europe or beyond. The Vatican also because of its position as an independent country in Italy and the close relations it has with many countries of the world through diplomatic relations or religious relations such as the relations between Catholics and Orthodox Christians or Muslims and Jews, it plays an important role in international relations. So now, by reviewing the history of the Roman Empire, we found out why the Vatican has created in Italy. And now this small country is facing problems and challenges because it is located in another country. In the following video, I will share these interesting challenges with you. But in the end, I suggest you watch the 8 cities held back by the geography video. Now we continue the video and examine the geographical challenges of the Vatican. As you can see on the map, this country is completely surrounded by Rome, Italy, and has no control over its borders. And the Vatican, due to its location, doesn't have the ability to expand or change its territory. It's a limited country. When we look at the topography of this country, we can see the Vatican City is located on a hill in the center of Rome, and this makes its construction a difficult place. And unfortunately, another problem is prone to flooding. In the Vatican, this area is surrounded by the Tiber River. When the river floods, it can cause flooding in the city as well as damage to its buildings and monuments. For example, in 2018, 
the Vatican experienced its worst flooding in more than 50 years with the Tiber River rising to a height of 6.7 meters, causing widespread flooding in the city of Rome, and the flood damaged several buildings, including the Vatican Library. Those books and manuscripts were damaged by water. The flood also damaged infrastructure, including roads and bridges. Officials had to close several roads and bridges, which made travel difficult for tourists and residents. In response to the flood, the Vatican has taken steps to reduce the risk of future flooding. With the city building, several flood barriers as well as a new drainage system to help prevent the Tiber from overflowing. As well as a number of innovatives to help has been implemented to protect the historical monuments and buildings of the city, which includes the installation of flood-proof doors and windows, as well as waterproofing the walls of the Vatican Library. But despite these efforts, the city is still vulnerable to flooding. In 2019, the Tiber River rose to a height of 6.5 meters and caused widespread flooding in the city. One of the natural problems of the Vatican is that it is located at a fault, which makes it prone to earthquakes. In the last few years, several earthquakes have occurred in this area, ranging from minor tremors to more severe earthquakes, and this earthquake has caused serious damage to the buildings and monuments of the Vatican. In addition to earthquakes, the Vatican is also at risk of sinkholes, which are caused by soil erosion by groundwater and can cause buildings to collapse. It is vulnerable to sinkholes. And of course, the government has taken measures to protect against earthquakes and sinkholes, which can be referred to as the Earthquake Early Warning System, which gives the people of the region an early warning about the earthquake. They also have a system of seismic sensors, having implemented to monitor earthquakes. In addition, the Vatican also takes measures to protect its buildings and monuments. They have implemented a series of seismic retrofits to strengthen buildings and monuments against earthquakes. They also have isolation systems. They have implemented a seismic system that helps reduce the effects of earthquakes on buildings and historical monuments. And at the end of this country, it is vulnerable to air pollution due to its location in the middle of a large and busy city. The Vatican to protect citizens and visitors against air pollution, it has been forced to invest in air purification systems in order to reduce the amount of pollution compared to the Italian capital. Thank you for being with me until the end of the video, and if you enjoyed the video, please like it and give your opinion about the Vatican in the comments section. Finally, as I said, I suggest you the 8 cities held back by the geography video, which is now you can watch it by clicking on the video.